This is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, this is not a technical video, so I'm going to explain things in this video just to kind of if for help people that are looking for similar type of solutions. So let's say, for example, you're looking for a thin client solution, uh, and it could be used in many scenarios. Let's say, for example, you have a secure switch, uh, PCI, or maybe you have a lab, uh, computer lab, where you have a switch, uh, and then you have a thin client uh, server, which is going to be like your whatever you use. Like in my case, I'm using an open thin client, which is free. So you could use it on uh, Windows uh, two, uh, 10, 7, or um, 2008, 12 server, 16. I don't know if that works on that, but you have the server here. You have a switch right here. And then you also need a DHCP uh, server. It can also create its own DHCP, but in most environment, uh, real environments, they have another server uh, that's like a DHCP domain controller and stuff like that. So you have switch right here. Let's consider this your thin client server. You install it on this server. This could be your DHCP server and domain controller. I'm making it very easy right here. Uh, and then, you know, your computer right here uh, basically. Um, you plug it in um, uh, th through network. You tell the computer to start it from the network, and then it basically goes out over here and then get to the server, and that image is created. Another way of doing this would be how you have all the similar setup, but you have a terminal server, which is which can be a Linux server or Windows 2012 8 or you know R2 so basically you have users uh, they have desktops like these they log in they start the computers from the network it goes out and then it basically uh, you can get applications or remote desktop to it uh, instantly you know concurrently like all these computers uh, machines are connected directly to this one big machine so they're not logging into different machines it's just one big machine they have more connections to it and that's what you pay for with Microsoft and I think it's with Linux it's uh, free I guess so that's one way to do things another uh, way of doing this would be something like this you have a switch, you have a DHCP server, Active Directory, all that stuff is going on here. And then you have that um, thin client manager, uh, same server. You could use any of that. Like I said, this is a very simplified version of things that I'm explaining here. But you could have another port going to a server that is just thin client. And that's an operating system. So you install that on that one. And then you basically get like a hyper... V or uh, you know uh, Proxmox, uh, you basically get like a physical server. You install like physical server. I mean, is like this. So you install VMware, um, uh, vSphere, or you can put a Proxmox on this, and it becomes virtualized. And then you can put mini mini VMs in there. So you install all that VMs. All that VMs are like right here. For example, uh, this image shows this is a big server. Uh, and then all these VMs are installed on this and then your users can go in there start their physical machines start from network and then they can access these little VMs so you can assign each person like for example this person have an IP address of 1.1.1.1 and then you can basically assign that to this VM so you can say that this person can only connect to this VM this person can only connect to this VM so that's how you can do uh, a lot of things with virtualization so I'm just gonna show you a little small demo not the server side that's what I'm gonna show you in a different video I mean I have a switch um, ready like I say don't uh, get confused I am going to show this in one of my courses like thin client course and we are going to do this uh, with the lab also so that's the switch right here this is the machine that it's connected to that switch and I have configured a, a server on Windows 10 remember so I'm gonna go ahead and restart this machine and just to show you guys that what's the outcome I want to show this video before someone spent too much time in think line so this can give you a very quick idea remember I put F12 I want to start this machine from network not from the hard drive okay that's not what we want so what we want is network right so I'm gonna click on enter it's gonna go out to the DHCP it's gonna get the IP address then it will go back right now it's getting the IP address then we'll go back go back to the switch and go back to the server and the server will send its image out and it will tell this machine start from this image so that image is on that server it's a Linux image so right now it's starting 
is sending you open thin client is booting right now and the way I set up this one is that when it restarts it will basically automatically ask you for username and password this username and password when you put it in it's going back to whatever operating system I have assigned to this user so this is great way for you know management lab management security stuff like that you know so right now nothing can happen a person will use the username and password and then they will log into that machine that I have assigned to this specific user now you could probably be not even using this method you could only want maybe just a browsing then you can use this click here and then open the browser and people can browse this is a great method for labs people who provide internet access in a very low income area where you don't have equipment and you just want to use stuff like this then you don't need an operating system all you need is a web browser right to teach people on the website or web stuff like that you know it does give you some applications for example this is an application which is a free application from manager I decided okay I'm gonna put only this application and this will automatically start and when I use the username and password it will connect to a Windows 10 machine right now I put my username and password if I enter this is Windows 10 machine that is running actually this whole um, thin client so that's Windows 10 machine you can see right here on the bottom you can even change the the, the, the format of you know the how it comes you don't want to show this other side you can do that you can do a lot of things from this thin client let me show you so if I open this you can see these are all my thin clients right here only one this is the same one right here I can add applications to this thin client I can do a lot of things but in my case I just wanted an RDP application so I added that one and now it's accessing this machine right here you can also do something like uh, for example like a start VNC viewer so I haven't configured this but let's see if it works sometime it will work sometime it won't so yeah it's working actually so you can see this is a great option you can even actually manage this machine from a VNC so I think one of the perfect solutions for someone who wants to do management from one single place so right now what happens if I disconnect from this machine you can even decide that if someone disconnects from that Windows machine this can either shut down restart and do a lot of things as you can see it's happening right now it was a lot of work guys you know making all this stuff and it's just kind of helps people that when you learn these things it's going to it's given to give you ability to provide more so maybe you have this something that you need to work on some security stuff you need to work on some environment where you need to you know come up with the solutions so these type of solutions can help you with actually um, something like that okay so this course will be actually provided I already done a full course uh, a full video a hands-on video for free on YouTube um, now this course uh, this whole small lab is going to be a hands-on lab it's not going to be it's going to be recorded first uh, for my users and then it's going to be a hands-on so you will log into a server you will create a DHCP environment and then you will assign an IP address you will install a thin manager you will do everything in virtual environment but you'll have a full direct hands-on uh, experience okay with having all these servers and clients and stuff like that so that's going to be provided I'm going to put that link in the description the labs are on waiting list so you know someone you can see there's 18,000 people on the site right now uh, so it's not going to be very quick lab right away but you can put yourself in the waiting list and as soon as it's available you can get this lab this is one piece lab this is one module there's are, there are other labs in this one small course uh, I call this IT training by labs we had trainings by just you know videos and everything that was self training uh, and we had like memberships and stuff like that then we have instructor led training that's like me and some other people doing it live uh, virtual now we have labs uh, IT trainings thank you watch thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys in a different video